Hey guys, Rorius here. Welcome back to Death Stranding. As, <laughs> as per usual, I'm continuing right where we left off. It's time, Sam. Oh, when yes. you're ready, proceed to the shore of the tar belt and begin work on the chiral relay. That was the intention. Once it's ready, use the cupid to bring it online. Yeah. The necessary materials are prepped for you. Oh, nice. Supplies yeah. are limited, so handle them with care. Okay. You'll be carrying a lot too. All things considered, this might be one of your hardest runs to date. Oh. Hartman knows more about the site than I do, so he'll take it from here. Wonderful. It's about time for his wake-up call anyway. <laughs> Administering shock. <laughs> yeah. I was like, what's the bet? It's gonna... <laughs> it's gonna make me wait just a little bit while he wakes up. Right. About that way station. The site we have chosen was an original candidate for the way station we lost to the top belt. Right. Uh, ironically, we suspended construction because we deemed it a little too unstable and not worth the risk. <laughs> but this time, it's our best shot. Right. Well, let's hope we weren't right to change horses in midstream. Fortunately for us, the foundation we laid down is still intact. All you have oh, to do okay. is transport the necessary materials to the site and finish the job. Cool. I'm afraid it's the only way we can expand the network further west yep. and rescue All good. Armory. We're counting on you, Sam. Sweet ass, bruh. Okay, take on the order. Involves a lot of cargo, 150 kgs, yeah. Use of a floating carrier or vehicle is recommended. I have a floating carrier. I've been using it for yonks as <laughs> as people in my family. Oh, oh, I can only make one PCC level two. Damn it. All good, all good. I can actually have multiple floating carriers, but I don't think I need that. <laughs> it, said about, it said something about 150 kgs. Um, okay, wait, 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 wait. Offload. Offload all of them. Okay, offload the floating carrier. And then get all these all these relay units onto the carrier. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, cool. Okay, I'm gonna recycle some stuff because I don't need everything I have. It's too much. It's too much to hold. And I keep because I keep getting given stuff. Okay, so quickly, quickly. Recycle. Okay, I'm recycling a bunch of random stuff. Uh, hopefully that makes me a little bit more reasonably equipped. Skip the <laughs> skip that. Yep, skip that. Thank you for your contribution. Okay, I need to sort my cargo again. Auto range. There we go. Yeah. So yeah, it suggested either having a carrier or a vehicle. I could grab that vehicle that's down there. Because it's a long way and it's a lot of stuff. But I have zip lines. Although I, I can't use them when I've got this much stuff. <laughs> Unless... Wait, what's my weight? My weight's 62. So basically, I'd be able to carry this if I had a level 3 power skeleton on me. <laughs> Too bad I have to get good in... I have to get in good with the engineer for that. Uh, damn it. Maybe I'll have to just get into that freaking truck. I'll get into the truck. <laughs> I wanted to use my zip lines. I have like a whole zip line network now. No trash. <laughs> but I'm the trash man. All good, bruh. Let's get this. Let's get this vehicle going. <laughs> Just basically gonna put this put it in the vehicle. Oh, <laughs> it's too heavy. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, into vehicle. Okay, confirm. So I just loaded everything into the vehicle. Weapons restrictions lifted. Yeah, I've been using the all-terrain skeleton because I don't. I my power skeleton ran out, and that's sad for me. <laughs> Is it so much harder to traverse? Oh, when it's all friggin' rainy. Rainy. <laughs> Rainy. Mail received. Chronicles of Aaron. <laughs> okay. I haven't used a bike with like storage on it. Like a cargo, a standard cargo bike. 
uh, in so long. <laughs> One second, I'm just gonna check. So we have- Oh shit, yeah. See, we have Chiral Network right up to the edge of the mule zone over there. Or like, as, or if I go down this way, all the way down to here. Which is probably the way I'm gonna go. I'm probably gonna go down that way. Uh, if I do, what- Oh. <laughs> BTs. <laughs> oh. Doll! Oh. If I wait 20 minutes. It'll be gone for 10 minutes. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Oh dear. I'm inside the vehicle. I'm inside the vehicle. Let me out. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's, it always scares me. Oh wait, wait, wait. Uh, I'm gonna go through my menu so I get the right one. One of my PCCs is nearly broken. That's the one I want to use. <laughs> 237, 38. Okay, we'll use this one. It's already on my tool rack, actually. Let's like put it over here. Okay, past time. I need to do this twice. The rain is not cleared. Uh, one more time. And we'll have 10 minutes to like get through the space. With no BTs, no rain. <coughs> and uh, it'll make it significantly easier to traverse. Okay. No, no, no. No, no, no. Don't punch your vehicle. <laughs> oh, my car. <laughs> uh, okay, let's check. So yeah, basically the whole way down is clear for now. I just need to get past this zip line. Or past, like, I basically need to get down to where the, like, paleontologist is. Uh, and yeah, I can keep going. And things are good. Don't even need to worry about these signs. If I just keep the location on my on my radar to some degree, I'll just travel as much that way as I can. Oh. Okay, it's doing this again. <laughs> Thankfully it wasn't like, I wasn't really going uphill, so no big deal. Okay. Oh, paleontologist. The ammonite with the umbilical cord and mass extinctions. Okay, okay. Take it easy. Take it easy. Why does it insist on going? Like, physically, that makes no sense. That how it wants to go sideways all the time. Oh? Why are we. We're in the rain? Oh, on the very edge of it. <laughs> God damn it. Should be fine. Okay, okay. This better not be a cliff. <laughs> better not be a sheer drop. Okay, we're, we're good. We're fine. We're okay. I do believe once you get out of the snowy areas, it like, your wheels are slippery because of the snow. The ice and the snow on them. That package is wanted at the engineer's place. Ah. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, we're out of the like rain zone, so now we're pretty much we're pretty much good for the rest of the way. Uh maybe I'll go I'll go sort of close to the edge of the of the pit there. Maybe I'll go that way. Yeah, maybe we'll traverse the edges of the pit there. I might be able to avoid the mules if I go that way. I need to go through some, like, uh, water so I can get the ice off my friggin' wheels. 
I noticed in a previous episode that when I did that, it uh, cleared my wheels of snow. Oh, they're, they're cleared already. I wonder if there was a, a memory stick thing in amongst this ruin. Because there's ladders and stuff of people trying to get to the top. So maybe there's a memory stick up there. Just like how the there was a ton of ladders around the incinerator in the previous one of the previous episodes. Because uh, the incinerator had the memory stick on it. I didn't find it, and I don't think I have found it already. But, uh, yeah. Oh, oh. That's a mule right there. Got a blood bag on him. Let's stay back a bit. Do I want to craft anything on the edge of this space? Because I'm going to have to go the whole rest of the way outside of the network. Oh, also, let's just check the mail real quick. I might be on the umbilical cord and mass extinctions. <laughs> yeah, I'm like... This is, this is tapping into, like, my conspiracy theory parts of my brain. Which, by the way, when they get tapped into, I immediately dig in my toes and just start saying, Nah, nonsense. <laughs> I'm a skeptic. Right, so there. <laughs> right, so Aaron Hill, the guy for Mountain Not City, he was the one who went ahead and built a foundation, is it? That's what it sounded like from that piece of mail. Right, so there's some sort of weirdness to do with... Almost like multiverse theory to do with, um... Uh, the seam and... The way it works. With, like, you as, the, as a human, I guess. Okay, let's see if there's anything I want to build. Uh, I don't really need time pool shelters either. So yeah, nah. Okay, well, it's a, very annoying to me that there's a mule right there. Because it means I can't just go along... I have to go up higher on the mountains. Which also means that I'm more likely to have catastrophic failure of like sliding down the mountain. Okay, I need to reverse ping. I'm gonna need to reverse ping. There we go. Okay. We're way up here now. <laughs> What's over this mountain? Oh. It's like just more way we can go. Cool. <laughs> that works for me. Oh. It means that... No, no. Oh. means that there's... I've got my freaking wheels covered in snow again. Take it easy. Take it easy. God damn it, I'm going down practically smooth ground. And it's... <laughs> the, the wheels of this thing. And it's too... Its suspension is too tightly wound. <laughs> it's not like uh, flowing over the top of the bumps like it's supposed to. Oh. This is Silent Poets. Did Silent Poets copy my, my, one of my previous ones? I don't remember. I know there's still at least one episode of the series that's copyright claimed. <laughs> I, don't, I don't care. I'm not worrying about it. Wait, 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 wait. Whoa. I'm assuming that's it there. Yeah, it's got a little... That's what the whole cross thing was about. Oh god, no, 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 no. reverse. <laughs> Take it easy. Take it easy. This area reminds me of the, the old spaces. Reminds me of the first area. Grass. Grass and dirt. Sam, you should be nearing the old building site. Look for the terminal and submit your materials for processing. 
I should have been running. I should have been on foot. It's much cooler to be on foot. But this kind of terrain is easier to traverse with this vehicle. See, like, I'm on what looks like smooth ground and it, like, is rough as hell. And I'm on this and it's smooth. <laughs> this is smooth ground. <laughs> oh, dear. Well. Yeah. Sam, you need to get those materials processed in order to finish the Cairo relay. Yeah. Okay. Let's get those, let's get these, uh, materials processed. Alrighty. Uh, yeah. All of the bits. <laughs> All the pieces. Organ sweet. <laughs> Sending likes. Res uh, resuscitation. 60 deaths and 60 births achievement. Is all about Hartman. <laughs> Friggin' sweet. Good job, Sam. Now access the terminal and bring the relay online. Yeah. Is this like an auto paver? It looks a bit like an auto paver. <laughs> My vehicle disappeared. Um. The yeah, it annoys me. Like I noticed that when I went went up to the what looks like an auto paver piece or a bridge piece when I when I interacted with it it was just yeah, I interacted with it I interacted with it with square which is how I thought you would interact with the bridges or with the auto pavers or whatever but for some reason with those ones you have to hold options and that's what that threw me when I first tried to interact with bridges <laughs> way back in like episode two or three yeah there's the link each, each area has an umbilical cord, I just realized. <laughs> Kyra Relay has joined the UCA. Yeah. Alright. And with that, we're all linked up. Mm. Once you cross the tar belt, the end will be in sight. We're this close to Emily, to America's second chance. Mm. Edge Knot City awaits. The staff we're sending will start by building a safe house. Right. In time, they'll expand their operations and establish a new facility. Yeah. In doing so, they'll carry on the legacy of the brave souls lost to the tar. Mm. All thanks to you, Sam. Now, let's figure out how to get you across this tar belt. So was Aaron Hill one of the people getting sent? That's what it sounded like. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I'm just gonna open this up and grab my floating carrier out of there. Oh, my battery's low. I'll switch out my controller now. Okay, I just got some more mail. Let's read this one first, because yeah, it's Chronicle 2. I just left Mount Not City behind. Don't worry, I'm not getting in touch to gripe. <laughs> right, yeah. Ah. Oh, that's what... Ah. Oh, the whole, like, buildings coming out of the tar. I wondered what the deal was with that. Because every time, like, I've been attacked by one of those big tar beasts, there's suddenly, like, buildings everywhere. But as soon as I get out of the tar space, or kill the, kill the big beast, uh, all the buildings, like, fade out again. Apparently they're supposed to be buildings from the past, because there's the whole, like, the, the beach connects the past with the future and all that. Uh, if the tower is a gateway to the past, it has consumed, then maybe it could be manipulated into regurgitating its old meals. <laughs> Fascinating prospect. Whatever the case, uh, my mission apparently is to cross the tar. How do I do- how does one do that? This isn't the safe room that they built, is it? This is built by a player, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay. Let's just give a quick scan. Oh, some more zip lines. Okay. So how, do, how does one do this? How do I cross the tar? Let's just check my map again. Yeah, so like with um, the first area, the first map, can I go to it? I don't think I can. Uh, the first map had a, like, a, like this link here that link, linked up to uh, Lake Knot City. And now when we got down to here, there's another link that goes off to the left towards the Edge Knot, I'm assuming. Huh. Uh, what was the mission? How did it work? Oh. I walked up. The only way west is through that. To make matters worse, I don't believe your PCC is capable of building anything that will get you across. Yeah. There must be a way. We can't give up. 
Not with what's at stake. We'll see if we can't think of something here. But considering everything you've been through, I wouldn't be surprised if you've already got a few ideas of your own. Find a way to cross the tower belt. Hmm. <laughs> Can I just walk through it? <laughs> I never tried walking into the tower. Pretty sure there's, you know, gameplay related mechanics to do with drowning in tar, so <laughs> it's, I never tried going into like the lake, the cradle lake for instance. So has anyone left any notes around? Is that, is that those locations where people have peed off the edge of the thing? I wonder, because <laughs> there's little signs like in the water, little green spots. It makes me think that they're peed off the edge of the bridge. Okay, wait one second, I want to do that. <laughs> this is like the whole peeing off the wall thing in uh, Game of Thrones. There we go. <sighs> Just see a little yellow stream. I have to face like this or else it doesn't get over the edge of the, <laughs> the, the metal there. Oh god. Not enough not enough strength in the in the tank to <laughs> no. There wasn't enough strength in the tank at the end there to uh not pee on the the metal. <laughs> there's actually there's quite a few th things about peeing in Kojima games. I just suddenly remi am reminded of the of the guy who's peeing in Milgus Old 2. <laughs> this guy is peeing in that and you have to like Unfortunately, you either have to wait for him to finish peeing, or you have to go underneath his pee and get peed on. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. Uh, do I go? Wait, let's just see what the weather looks like. So it's rainy down that way, but people. Hmm. There's no. There's nowhere I can just easily make equipment. Although I built some, I built thematic grenades, so I have, I have some of those. Some people have left signs going out this way, which makes me think that maybe this is how I proceed. But they have left like BT signs out, so... What I'm actually afraid of is that I'm gonna go out here and I'm gonna get attacked by a big old BT. But this whole area is inside the chiral network, so I could build some, like, timefall shelter or... Uh, one of those kinds of things. Mm. Oh. Oh. Okay, now I'm gonna I'm gonna do put the sign here. BTs. <laughs> um okay. Container repair spray out that way. Chemicals. But someone's got a sign going up this way. I wanna go this way. Oh, I'm so glad I have BB. <laughs> it makes me so happy. I don't have to worry, I don't have to think about things quite so seriously. Oh! Oh, from there I thought the rain stopped. I can see the edge of something over there. But ultimately, supposedly, I'm supposed to go that way. I was about to say, maybe you'd let me know if we were near BTs, right? <laughs> okay. I have nothing particularly valuable on me right now, so... Um... 
three and one. Oh. Oh, he's getting closer. I see. They're coming over this way. They're noticing me doing stuff to the other BTs. Oh god, every time I throw a grenade, they're... They're, um... They're getting interested. Why can't I see him? Why can't I see him? Phoebe. Dark container ruined. Devi June's lost cargo. Where is the... I can't freaking see any BTs. Where are they? I think more are appearing as I'm killing them. Okay, I don't think there's anything out here for me. I'm not seeing anything. <laughs> Out of the BT zone. Cool. Hmm. I don't know what to do. I'm gonna go back and go inside that online safe house and see if, like, a mission related thing pops up. Oh, they're contacting me. I've been thinking, Sam. <laughs> I took too long. It's impossible to walk directly on top of the tar. If you could raise some sort of platform, it'd be a different story. Say, that sounds familiar. You remember doing something like that before? I could swear you did. Try and... Try and cause a route across the tower to appear. Um... Excuse me. <laughs> Raise the surface. Wait, wait, I'm gonna go into the private room. Go into my private room. <laughs> what does it mean? <laughs> Raise the surface. Thank you for your generosity. Oh. Sam, I've got it. Back in Port Knot City when you fought that BT, remember what happened? If you lure a BT out there and use it to raise up buildings from within the tower, uh, you could create a path for yourself across the belt. They gave me hints. Be dangerous as hell, but what other choice do we have? <laughs> All right. Perhaps you can use a BT to uncover uncover a hidden terrain. I'm going to take a shower real quick. I would have liked to have been able to craft some like weapons and stuff but it would seem that my three hematic grenades are gonna have to be i'm gonna have to do i'm gonna have to do so what i think i have to do is go over here <laughs> let's get over here so i went into the bt zone and successfully avoided killing well getting grabbed by them <laughs> i need to intentionally get grabbed by a bt and spawn a, a tar attack thingy. <laughs> so I just dropped a ladder. Yep, I know, I know. I thought this was this area would be the area I needed to go, but I didn't know why. Didn't know why at the time. Basically, I need to be intentionally grabbed. Come on, oh god. Come on, wake up. Wake up, BTs. There we go. Come on, take me. <laughs> Did 
Damn it, I dropped some things. Oh god. <laughs> it made me drop some things. I think including... Oh! Uh, what the fuck? Oh, I hate it. I hate it. Oh, it's triggering me. Oh, it's triggering my leviathan phobias. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. Um... Uh... <laughs> I don't have time to soothe you, Lou. Okay. Uh -huh. It's like they're coming together and helping me. Could the whales be like good guy BTs? I'll wait till I get attacked by one. <laughs> okay, wait, 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 wait. Um. Uh, soothe. Okay, that's plenty. It's plenty. I just stopped. I'm, I'm not like cured him. Oh, it's pointing towards, pointing towards stuff. Um, yeah, I was gonna say it's over that way. Huh. Can't say I would have never thought of that. Well done, <laughs> he just told me it though. You out there giving it your all? There's hope for us yet. Oh, uh, I'm just gonna have to go for it. Oh god. Oh god. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. So yeah, the whale thing is the BT in this case. Oh, that's har- that's horrifying. I hate that. I hate that. <laughs> That's really cool, though. This whole scene is super cool. Okay, take it easy. Take it easy. Okay, there we are. Oh, stay up, and then get on here. Oh, container self. It's container repair spray. I'll take that. Yikes. Okay, okay, quickly, quickly, get across here. Oh, and the fucking music, man. Super cool. Oh, that's horrifying. I hate that. Oh, wrong way. Let's go this way. Let's go up here. And follow this. <laughs> that's awesome. I like parkouring across the buildings. Okay. Oh, I hate it. I hate that thing, whatever it, whatever it would be described as. It's like a it's like a cross between a whale, a shark. Okay, that's fine, it's fine. Doesn't matter. Oh no no, go up here. And then up here. Oh god. <laughs> it's gonna quickly uh pulse. I see. <laughs> up down here. Up across here. Oh god. Alright. Oh, I. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> uh, he's right there. Oh god. Get out of there. Get out of there. Quickly. Quickly, quickly. Uh, there's, there's multiple of them. There's so many of them. Oh my god. Get up the frickin'. Let's get up. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What do I actually have equipped? Yeah, I lost one of my... Oh, I lost one of the good ones as well. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, you climb up, climb up. Oh. Is that Amelie? That looks like Amelie.
What the hell is she doing here? Oh. Yeah, what is she doing out here? Oh god, I'm drowning. In the tar. Uh oh. <laughs> I assumed that was coming. Why was Amelie not in the middle of the lake? Thank God we're a repatriate, so it doesn't even matter what happens. <laughs> we shall re arrive. Re re arrive back in the real world. I wonder what, what would have happened if I threw a hermetic grenade at her. <laughs> if I just like straight up threw a hermetic grenade in her direction. Because <laughs> I could have. I totally could have. Yeah, we're back on the scene. For the first time since the start of the game. Because I am that good. <laughs> I've not died this whole time. They keep talking about your mini visits to the seam, but I've never been there other than that one time at the start of the game when I was caught in a void out. London Bridge is falling down. Oh. Falling down. Norman Reedus nipple. Falling down. <laughs> London Bridge is falling down. My fair lady. gonna say is this gonna go the same way that it did last time so yeah this is this is the seam this is supposed to be the seam or no this is the beach and then in the water is the seam last time we walked to the water and then we no did we even walk to the water I can't remember what happened exactly all, all I remember is that we navigated back to our own body Oh, my floating carrier. My stuff. My PCCs. <laughs> Me with my all-terrain skeleton. And my power gloves. <laughs> Are we just gonna appear on the other side? That's that's familiar. Keep your voice down. You don't want to scare the poor girl away, do you? She's in there. I can smell her. Of course, I wouldn't have known for sure if it wasn't for you and your wonderful network. <laughs> Bless your heart. Thank you kindly. Oh, Sam Bridges. Careful. Contents are fragile. <laughs> like the world and everything in it. <laughs> Me, I'm... I'm no exception. I'm not the only one wearing masks either. There's your boss man, and that woman, and oh, that woman. Let's not forget little you. Okay, it's okay. I know it ain't easy wearing a mask all the time. But now the mask can come off, right? You remember this? Hmm? No, no, no. 
Mm. Poor sweet Amelie. She's holed up in the beach nearby. Tell you what, what say we make it a race? Hmm? Whoever wins gets to usher in the end of days. Nothing like the eve of extinction bring focus to the mind. Makes folks honest. There'll be no need for masks soon. But I wonder... When you look death in her eye... Will you blink? Episode 9, Higgs. <laughs> Just... Well. What an... What an introduction to this new section. with me, Sam? Even now, our way forward, our way to save Emily, is the same as always. Your first priority is to get the local distro center on the network. Until it's complete and everybody's connected, Higgs won't find it easy to get to Emily. She should be safe. Hmm, okay. So take your time and do it right. Putting everything on my carrier. Okay. So, we traveled via BT to this new location. And, uh, we're met right in the entrance by Higgs. I think this area, let's look at the map. This area is going to be way less hospitable, way more, like, hostile, I think. Uh, and there might only be the one knot. It might only be this building right here. Edge Knot City. It might be the only location. The whole rest of the map might be in the city area. Hmm. I don't think I have anything on my, my person at all, yeah. It's all on the carrier. Well, it's nice to have another one of these again. I feel like I haven't been where near one of these kinds of, uh... Not in a long time. What's the hold up, Sam? Connect your cupid to the terminal and put the site online. I'm running as fast as I can. To immediately connect it. There's no one here to to uh refuse. So I find interesting about the the like location at the edge, the the way station we set up as well as the as well as this location like i find it interesting that we even i find it interesting that we can even connect it to the uca because there's no one here to man the station yeah i think um yeah that's the final final knot yeah remote detonation grenade launcher oh okay i'm gonna assume I'm going to assume Good that work, you've made it as far as bridges one ever did. <sighs> we never pushed further west. Frankly, mm. it's a miracle we kept that distro center running. <laughs> anyway, you're almost at Edge Knot City. Oh, your this final isn't Edge Knot. Where Emily should be waiting. Smile, Sam. Only one more knot to go. One last time to put that cupid to use. Right. Though you'll need another component to finish the job. Regardless, the nationwide network will serve as your ticket home. Just bear in mind that by bringing Edge not online, you'll likely be revealing Emily's location to Higgs. You'll need to get to her before he does. And he can teleport. Get to your private room and get your gear sorted. When you're ready to go, we'll give you what you need. Make sure not to leave the distro center without taking the order. Um, we better get fragile in here with us. So we can teleport straight to Amelie once we find her. Because if if we can, <laughs> if Higgs finds her first, if it, you know if we activate it and then Higgs can teleport straight to her and find her, then <laughs> shit. <laughs> I think I was. I think what I was saying before is. Are you there? I think there's only going to be one. 
There's only the one more region. Sam. Over here, Amelie. The network's nearly complete. Just one more knot to go. And then America will be whole again. Did I ever tell you my real name? I wanted to. It's Amerigo. After Amerigo Vespucci, the man who discovered the continent. I thought it was Columbus. Except Amerigo was full of it. He lied. America is a lie. Amelie. I'm on the beach, Sam. Our beach. The one where I was born. Higgs will never find me here. He can't. So don't worry. Get the last Cupid to Edge Knot City and finish what we started. I'll meet you in your room at the Distro Center when it's all over. There's something you need to know, Sam. I've kept things from you. Worn a mask for the longest time. Everything Higgs said about me is true. I could end it all. Us. Mankind. Extinction. That's what I am. How does that even mean? But it's not what I want to be. All I want is for you and me and everyone in this world to be whole. <gasps> Sam. Can she see us now? Okay, good. Because she couldn't didn't look like she could actually see me before. Promise you'll stop me. Don't let me end it all. I'll be waiting for you on the beach. Amelie. Amelie. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, dear. Well, <laughs> that was uh, eventful. I feel like we need to take another shower. <laughs> I'm gonna skip. I'm gonna skip it. Let's have a look at our mail really quick. Cause I know we got a bunch. Oh no, it's only two pieces. Extinctions and the beach. Yeah, I think we've got most of what we needed to know from this. Yeah, Chronicles of Aaron, <laughs> chapter three. So he w he encountered. The porter that had misplaced the stuff for the the biologist and the the paleontologist, and that guy, that porter was telling him about the ammonite with an umbilical cord, and he was like, "Wait, but that is that's not possible, right?" <laughs> oh dear. Oh god. This is the last thing we saw. Sorry, yo, this this is the next stage, next step. Check the terminal and pick up that order before you leave. Yes. You can't finish the job if you don't. <laughs> I remembered what you said not like five minutes ago. <laughs> What's this? Remote detonation grenade launcher. Launches explosive projectiles, as you may have guessed. Can be used in conjunction with a variety of rounds depending on your needs. And yes, said rounds are indeed detonated remotely and at your discretion after firing. So yeah, okay. Interesting. Uh, I usually prefer ones that detonate on, on, on contact. I usually prefer those kinds of grenades. Um, okay, we still have PCCs, climbing anchors, and ladders. We still have our all-terrain skeleton, power gloves, all that stuff. All that good stuff. Let's make a couple of hematic grenades. Because we seem to have lost those. Oh no, no, no. I, I misread. We still have two of those over here. 
Do I want grenade launchers? Trigger on impact, yeah, I'd prefer to get a normal grenade launcher. And maybe I'll use that. I'll try that out. And I can switch between, like, it, it's an all, it's an all use, all uses kind of system. I can't make vehicles here? Huh. So I still have the bowler gun. I'll carry that on my back as well. It's close to being destroyed though. I've now got everything on my back. <laughs> Let's take on that order. This is it, Sam. Mm. Edge Nut City. The last piece of the puzzle. You'll need more than just a Cupid to link this one up, though. Yeah. You'll also be required to supply a network activation key. Oh, okay. Anticipating terrorist interference. We held on to it for safekeeping. It's been sitting in that distro center gathering dust. Until now. Collect it at the terminal and take it to Edge Nut City. Luckily for okay. us, the automated systems at the distro center there still seem to be operational. So once the key is entered, it should automatically interface with the backbone network. Okay. Cool. A word of caution, Sam. The activation key has a unique identifier. If anything happens to it, you can't just print a new one. Right, I see. It's one of a kind. Irreplaceable. And for the love of all that's holy, don't lose it. <laughs> and don't go breaking it either. I assume that breaking it was Sam, the... If ever there was a delivery not to fuck up, it's this one. We're all counting on you. Okay. But then game-wise, what will happen if I if it if it breaks or something happens to it? Just in case I need it, I'm gonna make one of those. I doubt it though. Because I might be dealing with more terrorists than I was initially thought. Maybe we should make some assault rifles. I find it interesting they even give you the option to have lethal assault rifles. I'm totally gonna make the non-lethal one. Uh, I have my grenade launcher already. I'll get a stun bomb as well. I have a feeling that terrorists are going to be the biggest threat in this space. Network activation key? It looks like BB. It looks like a BB. Okay, carry on back. Do I use the floating carrier? Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use the floating carrier. I've got all my weapons on me and my PCCs on me. I could probably take the PCCs off as well, actually. Let's put them all on the carrier. Uh, auto range. There we go. Oh, but now I've got one of my legs doesn't have anything on it. Damn it. <laughs> Both of these are too big for it. Okay, I'll take one of those PCCs back. Okay, this one has 70% damage, so let's attach it to my suit. The one place it's not used. There we are. Cool, let's go. And I should soothe BB more. Oh, uh... Do that. Now let's go like this. Oh, he's been soothed. Bond with Lou restored. <laughs> All good. Yeah. Wonderful, okay. So, I've got a bunch of weapons on me. I'm co I'm just covered in weapons. And uh, I've got like tools and the delivery on my floating carrier. Yeah, I'm gonna put a, a note down and say like, <laughs> I'm gonna put a happy face. All right, uh, I think it's this way, yeah. What's this zip line? <laughs> it's not connected to anything. There's just like a straight line between here and where we need to be. But I'm gonna guess that there's basically just infinite mules. <laughs> you know, just a ton of mules. Or, you know, the terrorists as they referred to. And it's just gonna be a rough ride. Thanks for the help. Thanks for, yeah, thanks for the help. I don't think there's anything that really needed that, but uh, let's get going. I want to make it a little way in here before we end off the episode. Oh, an all-terrain skeleton. I'll uh, grab that and put that on here. It's only level one, but <coughs> all of the uh, all the different equipment things help. 
Do not enter. Warnings. Oh. <laughs> Let's um, check the weather. Ah. It's just endless rain the whole way. Oh. Okay. One second. Let's just get into the get into the charging space. Let's just have a look. So I can get up to there, the watchtower there. But this whole area is, I'm assuming, constantly blanketed in Carol rainfall. And we just had to notice that I was noticed BTs. Yeah. God damn it. <laughs> okay, wait, 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 wait. Let's get the... Oh, I don't have it on me. Let's, um, open this up. Get a PCC level 2 out of here. Okay, let's see. What do we got? What BTs we got? We're still a while away. So yeah, we're still a, a long way out away from any actual BTs. BB's just being cautious. I was gonna say, how far away is that zip line? I'll build another zip line over here. So you can get across here quickly. Oh, cutscene. Oh? Okay. Unsuitable surface. Okay. Let's just go like this. Oh, let's just see. We can place it. Okay. We can place it like here. It's for future use. Um, let's just get our, wait, do we have any, let's just get our grenades out. Where did that one go? It went down and now I can't see it. Construction complete. Yeah, it's down there. Okay, let's not use friggin' grenades. Let's use the friggin' assault rifle? Robber hematic rounds. Okay, that's weird. That's weird. I was not expecting that. I was not expecting jellyfish that explode. <laughs> At least I have like a million shots with this. So I should be able to take all of the jellyfish out. Any that I come across. Oh, be careful. I shouldn't actually need to crouch. I'm so far away from them. I can like snipe them from a distance. Um, okay. Oh, this is weird. Weird, um... You know what? Okay. That's nearly ruined by timefall. Oops, wrong button. Which one is it? I think it's the only PCC level one I have on me. So let's just, um... Let's build a timeful shelter, like down here. Oh, we're outside of the Carol network. Or no, it's insufficient as in... We've already used all the bandwidth. It requires 750, but there's zero bandwidth left. Do I have any repair spray on me? Oh, I should have brought some freaking Kaga repair spray. 
I'm gonna run back really quick and grab some <laughs> and make some Kaga repair spray. Cause I'm probably gonna need it. Considering how dense already the space is here. Oh god. Oh. Fucking hell. Come with me. Oh, bond with loose strength then. We're three and a half stars now. Cool. Yeah, I think because of all the stuff around here, the stuff that people have dropped off, like the, the uh, zip lines and stuff, the network here is really weak. There's no there's no extra space for time full shelters or anything like that. Very annoying. <laughs> I'm also going to assume that the the stars that this has, the, like the amount of stars that this bridges thing has, is super bad, super low. Oh, there's a freaking memory chip right there. I don't see any packages to like grow it. There we go. Memory chip. There we are. Oh, you're kidding. <laughs> I can only make one repair spray. Ah, oh, damn it. All right, whatever. Oh, I didn't deliver the uh, the microchip, data chip, whatever, whatever. Don't matter. It don't matter. I can do that anytime. Should have made another gun. God damn it. I knew I should have made another gun. A lot of them have respawned. It would seem. Yeah, I think it's three mils per shot. I don't probably even need to use the medic rounds, but I just... I, I'm guessing because they're, you know, BTs that they're gonna need to be... Have my blood thrown on them, you know? Alright, I just went off to have lunch. Oh, sorry, have dinner. <laughs> what do we got here? Oh. Where? I was gonna say, it kept going for a while there. BB, keep up. <laughs> I still have 137 more bullets. Hopefully, that's plenty for all the remaining jellyfish BT. That bowler gun that I've had with me for like, oh, whoops, for like forever. Uh, it's finally nearly damaged. I thought these were piercing them, like, and and hitting ones behind them, but it is literally just that if they're nearby, if they're near another one of the jellyfish BTs, um. They will explode and damage the nearby BT. Oh god, no, no, no. I realized I went up the wrong part. I need to go across here. Okay, come on. Here we go. Um. Be real fucking careful. Okay. So I was so afraid the floating carrier was gonna fall down the gap. Okay. Let's check how our condition of our materials is. That hematic grenade's about to expire. 24%. Okay, we're good. We're good. For now. <laughs> For now we're good. Oh. A rope. Uh, apparently there are more, apparently there are more guys down that way. Can't see him. Is there a way down that I can walk? Or do I have to take this rope down? Okay, let's just see if I can carry everything on my back. Alright, let's take this rope. I don't know why I see them down there. Okay, go straight. Oh! Oh, something else goes. I'd go straight down. Why did that happen? Did they hit the lip?
I think there's one through the wall here. Yeah, I can see it. Okay. Give me my stuff back. Oh my god. Let me grab my stuff. There we go. Okay. One second, one second, one second. <laughs> There's a friggin' tar jellyfish right in here. There it is. Wonderful. What's this? Oh, watchtower. This is the edge of the of the uh, chiral network. Let's use this. Use it. <laughs> Materials ruined by time full. PCC level one. God damn it. Yeah, no, that makes sense. It's a, um, memory chip over that way. Okay, well, I don't think that was actually useful. Okay, let's just see if I can, if I, I have a ladder on my thing over here. Let's grab it. Oh, I have the ladder on my suit, okay. Uh, what a range cargo. Get the ladder out. Unstable surface. Also, the ladders, I believe I can place them outside the chiral network as well. Ladders and climbing anchors, they don't mad they don't work the same way. But I am now disconnected. Uh, let's get our weapon back out. I think this is the one. It's a bunch way up there. Okay, PB, you can calm down. <laughs> so yeah, this is quite the quite the traversal. Oh. Oh. I can hear it, but I can't see it. Oh, there it is. I see it. So now I can switch back to my hematic grenades. Grab our Chiral Crystals. Oh. There we go. Nice. Oh, there's a BT right there. Okay, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> oh, the ones I was using were not the ones that were destroyed. The ones that I hadn't used yet were the ones that just got destroyed. So I'm now, I don't have any hematic grenades. Oh my god, I'm so mad. Right as we get to the part where we need the hematic grenades. He'll say, if, does he have a cord? I can't see a cord. I still have hermetic grenades in the form of this. Oh. Uh. Oh. I think uh, he briefly saw me and then died. So Lou was all upset. But also, the music went crazy. 
Okay, I think Baby's actually asleep. <laughs> okay, I noticed it said that my something was something specifically was damaged by time fall. Oh, the cargo, the container. Uh, that's sixty percent. Oxygen mask apparently is eighty percent. Yeah. Okay. Let's carry the that on my back. Oh, come on. Yes, I. I was already in here. Why, why is it doing it again? <laughs> Did it like briefly think I was out of the time fall or something? Let's spray these. Okay, cool. They're all repaired. <laughs> oh, and now we're out. Okay. Wonderful. I like how the Audrey Jack actually highlights the footprints. Cause that's like, that's not what they actually look like. That's my Audra deck highlighting them orange. Okay, put that away. Okay. I'm gonna have to get my climbing anchor out that I probably have on the cargo thing. I do. <laughs> Let's uh, get this going. All oh, right, wait, 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 no, no, no. I have to deal with my cargo first. Okay. There we go. Well, now uh, my bowler gun is now officially de destroyed as well. There we go. I wasn't using the bowler gun anyway. Another memory chip. Okay, let's do all the things again. Uh... Oh. Okay. Apparently I'm back into, like, the outskirts of a BT zone. Yep, I get out briefly and then get straight back in. Okay, I think I'm alright for now. That's, uh, all difficult terrain. Can I walk along the edge of this? Can I walk along here? I can. Okay. Unfortunately, we have more uh, typical regular BTs to the ones I didn't want to have to deal with because I'm out of hermetic grenades. Oh, that's right. Grenade launcher. <laughs> okay. So these grenades don't kill them immediately, like the hermetic ones do. But, uh, if you leave them there for a second, you know, it gets them. Okay. See, with regular BTs, I can tell how long it's taking for them to die, because BB will stop pointing at them when they die, as soon as they die. There we go. Did I miss anything? I don't think so. I missed. Okay, I think he, he's proper dead. <laughs> this feels like... I don't know, I like this. 
I like the like execution feeling of this. I'm like going through and executing all the BTs. Oh! <laughs> BT's like, you're good. I got rid of all the BTs. Friggin' sweet. Someone's out here. <laughs> yeah. I'm actually using my oxygen mask at the moment as a first defense warning sign to when my cargo gets my uh the boxes are damaged. Because the car the, the oxygen mask gets depleted faster. It's its container isn't very good. So since it's better than the mission related box, <laughs> it's, it, it, I, as soon as it warns me that it's it's nearly damaged, I can take out my repair spray and repair everything. Although I would kind of just like to Oh, I don't have it on me. I would kind of like to just do it all, but you know what? We're right here. So long as, um... Hegs doesn't try and stop us. Oh, these are out of commission. As long as someone stops us, we're home free. This is actual Edge Not City. Freaking sweet. This is where I wanted to get this episode. All clear. Welcome to Sam I might have to just not go to the terminal and leave this here as somewhat of a cliffhanger. <laughs> but we're, like, I think we're way closer to the end than I actually thought we were. For some reason I thought there was going to be a whole section in this part of the, in this part of the game. I thought this was going to be a whole, like, an area in similar size to maybe the first area. Where there's going to be like four or five knots that we have to do. But no, <laughs> it's just two. Uh, so yeah, let's save it. So, <laughs> the next episode might end up being the last, depending on what we have to do here. Otherwise, whatever happens, whatever ends up being the case, if you like what you saw, hit like. If you want to see more from me, then subscribe! <laughs> Getting through here to Eternal City was rough. Uh, but thankfully, once we're now that we're here, we should be able to place more PCC stuff. And hopefully we can get some better connections so we can actually start building more and, and doing more in this region. And yeah, however long it is till the end of the game... Thank you so much for watching and until next time. <laughs>